Right, assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to a uh, uh, Pepe update today. So this is my next trade that I'm trying to cook for September. It can actually give us 40 to 60% uh, benefit by maybe, I'm actually thinking the, the entry I'm going to take is uh, the second week of September probably. And if you're not in Discord, I even shared one idea because I do give you something for free which was uh, on the trade ideas, I actually posted Andy. So this was how Andy was. Some few days ago, I said uh, I gave this idea that on 25th, that Andy is looking like this, that it has broke below the symmetrical triangle. It is actually looking to fall to the downside. This was sitting at 300, and so far, fast forward, Andy dropped 20%. Okay, so from that technical standpoint, all the way down to 257. I think it's even lower right now. And that's the cool part about Discord. So number one, that was a trade idea for free. Secondly, uh, I do have the private idea for 40 to 60% trade in the future. So comment Discord if you're genuinely interested to join and I'm going to generate an invite link for you. Uh, with Pepe at the moment, we are looking at this one on the daily time frame, and uh, I think uh, we've came, we came down and you're still in a good position, but I'm highly doubtful because of how other coins are looking like. A lot of coins are are making trouble. A lot of coins are creating a little bit of, uh, you know, this bearish patterns and they're showing that probably in September we're going to see massive, massive discounts, okay? And and I kind of want to support Pepe that it's going to go up, but I think Pepe will follow everything else and drop to the downside. Now, at the moment, at least, we don't have a threat just yet, okay? On the charts, we don't have a threat. So here's how I'm going to uh, keep things simple for you. Number one is you broke from this trend line. And when you broke, you, you fall down and you've retested. And it, it does look like a very successful retest, right? This here looks like a successful retest. Could you want to try and trade? Go on, but use a stop loss. And the stop loss is quite huge. Because if I was to trade, I was going to put a stop loss at 12.09. And I don't think I want to trade a risk of nearly um, 9%. I don't want to take 9% risk, right? I'm just going to wait, maybe look at some other coin and trade those coins as well. But I'm not going to actually take 9% risk, even though it actually looks good and this and that. With the probability that the market can actually drop, I'm actually just going to stay away from any trades at the moment. But... On the other hand, on the other hand, it's a 60% potential move, right? It's almost a 60% potential move. But I'm not very confident just yet. Maybe it does go up and you take the trade, congratulations. I'm not going to feel bad because I never feel bad missing trades. There are so many trades I can take any time. So it's not a big deal to miss uh, a trade. It hurts a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. For me... I'm not ready to take any risk at the moment with Pepe. You want to do it? You want to actually take something if it doesn't bother you? Go on. Be my guest. But you stop losses because if you do come down to 12.09, I think it's a flash all the way down to nearly 620. And maybe this is where I could be more confident with my next purchase. So that's all for the video. Comment Discord if you want to be a part of Discord. And I'm going to see you the next time in the office.